Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books. And today, I'm gonna talk about a true crime book club. Uh, we had the live book club live stream, the live book club live stream on Sunday to discuss the book Shattered by Katherine Casey. And we had such a good time and um, it was so much fun. Um, I co-host the live stream with Mel, my co-partner in crime over on a true crime book club. Mel, hey Mel, how are you doing? And we had such a good time and it just, we talked about the book and we talked about other kinds of stuff and it just was really, really fun. And one of the things that we actually talked about in there was our book for April. Now, now, I have to tell you, Mel and I have already picked the book for May, which I will be announcing in April. I don't want to announce it yet because I am very, I was going to say really, but I'm going to say raw. I'm really, very, really, very, I'm very, very, very excited about uh, the book for May. Um, and so what we were going to do for April was we were going to have uh, the people in a true crime book club, we were going to have them pick the book that we were going to read. And so Mel put up a post and said, hey, are there any suggestions and things like that? And then what we were going to do was based on the suggestions, we were going to make a poll out of um, the books that were suggested. Suggested. And so while we were in the live stream, Mel looked it up and there were about 10 books that had been suggested. And I think like one of them or two of them we had read before. And so that like narrowed it down to like eight or something like that. And so we were asking in the live stream, we said, you know, should we just pick the book or do you want us to do the poll or how do you want us to do it? And everybody, it was like unanimous, was like, you and Mel just picked the book, right? And so while I was in there, I was like, oh my God, I was just reading this article that if there's a book about it, we should read the book because I'm interested in this case. Like, I don't really know much about this case. I kind of remember it happening on the news and all that kind of stuff. And that was this magazine. This magazine is actually from August of 2022 um, but it's the uh, house of horrors survivor jordan turpin and it says my terrifying journey to freedom at 17 she escaped captivity and helped free her 12 siblings from her, their abusive parents then endured more unthinkable trauma in foster care how her brothers and sisters give her the will to live i'm trying to heal every day and i actually i believe that i watched a documentary about this um but her story is just like unbelievable and I can remember seeing news footage of it, of her like she had escaped at night and then the police came to the house and like her siblings, I think it's in ages, the ages range from 12 to 29, um, were like chained to beds. And at 17, she was so emaciated from not eating that she looked like a 10 or a 12 year old and her siblings were malnutritioned. And I mean, it just is really, really a sad, horrific case. Um, and so uh, I was like, well, we should read this, something about this and learn more about it. And somebody found that there was a book that had been written and the book is called The Family Next Door by John Glatt, The Heartbreaking Imprisonment of the 13 Turpin Siblings and Their Extraordinary Rescue. Now, we've actually read another John Glatt book. The book was, hold on a second, I believe The Lost Girls. We read the book The Lost Girls um, several, I think maybe uh, two years ago, and I believe it was... Um, about these three girls that have been like killed or something like that. Oh, no, 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 it was on the East Coast. So we've read another John Glatt book um, in a true crime book club, which is kind of interesting. Like we were talking about Catherine Casey who wrote Shattered and we really liked her style of writing. And so we had said that like Nikki had mentioned that maybe like she would like to read some more of her writing. So, you know, maybe down the road we'll read another Catherine Casey book. Um, and definitely like, you know, the very first book that we ever read um, was A Stranger Beside Me by Anne Rule. And we haven't read another and rule book and we don't rule that out <laughs> so not to be corny um but i would at some point like to read you know another and rule book because i haven't in all that time because if i if something true crime comes up i try to save it for a true crime book club now mel she'll read it all and she'll say well if we have to read it again i'll read it again but i try to save it for a true crime book club because she reads a lot of true crime i try to save it just for the book club so anyway let's uh, talk about what this book is about like the synopsis here, let me read it to you. Hold on a second. It says, From New York Times bestselling true crime author John Glatt comes a devastating story of the Turpins, a seemingly normal family whose dark secrets would shock and captivate the world. On January 14th, 2018, a 17-year-old girl climbed out of the window of her Paris, California home and dialed 911 with shaking fingers. Struggling to stay calm, she told the operator that she and her 12 siblings, ranging in age, oh, I guess they're a lot younger, from 2 to 29, were being abused by their parents. 
When the, disp when the dispatcher asked for her address, the girl hesitated. I've never been out, she stammered. To their family, neighbors, and online friends, Louise and David Turpin presented a picture of domestic bliss, dressing their 13 children in matching outfits and buying them expensive gifts. But what police discovered when they entered the Turpin family home would ex eclipse the most shocking child abuse cases um, in history. For years, David and Louise had kept their children in increasing isolation, trapping them in a sinister world of torture, abuse, and near starvation. In the first major account of the case, investigative journalist and author John Glatt delves into the disturbing details and recounts the bravery of the 13 siblings in the face of unimaginable horror. So that's going to be our book uh, for April, and I wanted to get that out. Well, I'm not getting it out super soon, but soon enough that you guys can find it. It's obviously available on Amazon and Audible, and I think it's like eight hours on just over. It's like eight hours and four minutes on Audible, um, Amazon and Thrift Books and Barnes and Noble, and um, I'm sure you can find it at the library as well. I don't know how long the wait will be at your library, but we try to find books that you can access anywhere. You know. So there is that book, and I have to tell you, and little Boo Radley is right here too, and he is so excited. He said, are they excited for the May book? He said, oh my lord, they better, what? He said, is it a secret? It's a secret, Boo Radley. The May book is a secret. He said, it is? Yes, it is. He said, oh my lord. He said, they're going to be so surprised. And no, it's not an Eileen Mornos book, but don't I wish. Because I could read 15 more books about her. But the May book is going to be really, really fun. Now, I'm getting ready to go to Florida, and um, Mel and I are talking about when we are going to do the, because people were asking us when we're going to announce the March, because uh, this was the February live stream that we just had, when we're going to have the March live stream. So the March live stream will probably be the second or third week of April, and we're just behind, but we'll catch up. We'll do, like, one of these times we'll do, like, back-to-back -back weekends or something like that. We'll catch up. We'll get to it and um, with the live streams, and um, I encourage you to come. They're so much fun, and um, even if you haven't read the book, you can come and just kind of, like, hang out, and you don't have to say anything. You can just sit and watch the, you know, the conversation go by, and you can see people, what they have to say and all that kind of stuff, and usually it starts with, like, I'll kind of, like, introduce the book, and then Mel says something, and then we, like, bring somebody in, whoever, like, this week it was, like, Nikki, um, that has read the book and whoever wants to can and a lot of people are like oh I don't have my makeup on or I'm laying in bed or you know what I'm out doing groceries or whatever but you know like you don't have to guess you don't have to guess at all but um, for anybody out there that would like to join we would love to have you and um, so yeah and even if you've just like heard about this case and you want to talk about like what you've heard about the case um, we would love to have you as well in there so and I have also picked the book for Peter's book club for um, April, but I will be announcing that in another video. So I'm very excited about that one as well. I'm excited about all these books. I'm excited about this book that we're going to read because I don't really know a, a bunch about this case. Although I do feel like I watched a documentary, but I feel like it was like an hour long documentary. It wasn't like super intensive. Um, and then I'm super excited about the book for Peter's book club because it's so random, the book that I picked. I mean, it is and it isn't, but I'll explain that in my video. And then I'm really excited about the May book. So, and then, you know, in the past summers, Mel and I have done, um, and we haven't really talked about this, whether or not we're going to do this, but we've done a summer of serial killers where June, July, and August, we have read specifically just books about serial killers. And if that's something that you would like to do again, um, or you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and we can find books that are specifically about serial killers. There's several out there that we haven't read. I mean, we haven't, I know that Mel has, but we haven't for like the book club read about the Green River Killer and things like that. So we still have um, serial killers out there that we haven't read about in the True Crime Book Club. So let me know uh, what you think about all of that in the comment section below. Are you going to read with us? Come along and join with us. We would love to have you. And I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.